Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to explain and compare these two graphs. The pink one is from Apple and the blue one is from Microsoft. Both are well-known companies and uh, this information is mainly from the year 2010, but we also have a few more months of 2011 and one month in 2009. In December 2009, we can clearly realize that Microsoft has a, a considerably average over Apple. Microsoft is in $6.7 billion and Microsoft is only in $3.2 billion, which is very low. But it is not until March from the following year that the Apple company reaches the, the lowest point in only $3.0 billion. This is when the company bottoms out. Microsoft company faces a huge decline in only three months. They now they are in $4.1 billion. We could say that in this month, both companies are in a similar situation because even though Microsoft is one million over Apple's income, they both are in a, in a very low point. Uh, actually, this is the, the, lowest, the lowest point in the graph for the Apple company. And this is also the, when the Microsoft company bottoms out. In June, Microsoft incomes grow slightly. It, it is an improvement of 0.3 billion dollars. On the other hand, we can see that the Apple's income are not getting better because uh, they stood in the same point. Uh, it remained uh, constant and they are still in 3.0 billion, billion dollars. The Apple company jumps to 4.2% in September of 2010, making the economic situation better because this jump takes the company out from the lowest point. Meanwhile, Microsoft has a moderate growth and the company reaches 5.2 billion dollars. By the end of the year, in December of 2010, Microsoft rises 1.1 billion dollars, but it does not exceed the peak they had in December of 2009. Similarly, the Apple company takes off and they reach the 5.3 billion dollars, and then they remain constant. This is where the Apple company reached the peak in the graph but Microsoft has a significant drop because it falls till 4.5% billion dollars. But even though the Microsoft company has sometimes, uh, some in, it increases sometimes, uh, it has a trend to going down. And the Apple company seems to be growing constantly. So this may mean that the Apple company could be stronger in the future.